So here's my uh, small high beetle dryer sheet trap test results so far. I just popped the inner, or outer cover off to see the inner cover. You can see where the bees have fought their way through it. Oh, well, that's not focused. Bees have fought their way through it and managed to gain access. Um, and I've got one, two, five, five dead beetles on it. Just as many dead bees, more dead bees on it than I have dead beetles. Um, now these are just the ones that are up on the inner cover. So perhaps the bees didn't get up here and, and work this stuff as much, and so maybe the beetles aren't as trapped up in it. But we'll pop the inner cover off here and dig down to the next set of sheets that were on top of the top bars, and we'll see how they look. Well, that looks a little more promising. There's, uh, again, several dead bees stuck on it, but you can see that's all that's left of the dryer sheets, these two wadded up messes. But, uh, yeah, a lot of beetles stuck on this one. Several bees, too. Um, but, I mean, I don't know, let me see if I can even scrape that off there. I can scrape it off and keep it intact. Maybe you could get some kind of count. But, oh yeah, look at that. A lot of dead beetles on top, and that's the top side to flip it over to see the bottom. So that seems to be working very well. Good, good, good. That gives me some hope. Um, that gives me enough hope to put more dryer sheets in here, that's for sure. Because the beetles are bad, bad this time of year down here. And uh, I see a lot of them running around in this hive still running loose. So I'm going to replace these. I brought dryer sheets out here to replace them with. And I'm darn sure going to because that's nasty, nasty. And there's the other one wadded up. So the, the dryer sheets on the inner cover didn't seem to do as much good. But these here that are on the top bars between the hive bodies seem to have caught quite a few beetles. Now I don't know. I mean, I, I, I guess I can count. I'll scrape them off there and try to get a rough count. But there's maybe 100 beetles trapped there. And 100 or more trapped here. Now I saw maybe 100 live ones go running. So you know, whatever. If I'm if I'm trapping these suckers, I'm trapping them, and it's worth it. So looks like the dryer sheets are working. Um, you know, I mentioned before I don't really promote the use of actual dryer sheets because they have the chemicals on them, the soaps and detergents and stuff. Um, I did on this hive as a test just to see if the fabric idea would work. I did pick up some fabric that I think is very similar in quality to a dryer sheet um, and then I think I threw it away because I can't find it now uh, it was so lightweight I think I threw it away inside the bag at Walmart but anyway um, I'll have to go back and get some more of that fabric from what I can find it is a non-woven polyester fabric that's what I found looking up about dryer sheets and the texture felt a lot the same um, so now it's just a matter of seeing if I can find that fabric to where it's just fabric and not soaps and lotions and all that sort of nonsense in it and uh, be able to find me some chemical free solutions but this seems to be working very good as a trap again unfortunately it does trap some bees but you know i'm looking at a hundred trapped beetles and maybe five trapped bees so that to me is worth it so this is on top of another hive dryer sheets above the inner cover this clearly does not work the dryer sheets only work if the bees fluff the material in an effort the bees are trying to get the material out so they rip it up and try to shred it and it gets fluffy that's what helps get the beetles trapped uh, you can see how these were once nice flat dryer sheets, now they're all wadded up and nasty. And because of that, stuck full of bees. But these are nice flat, I mean these look like they're fresh out of the box. Not a beetle, not a bee one trapped on them. So, dryer sheets above the inner cover, doesn't appear to work. On top of the frames appears to work pretty good.